Hey guys, Jillian Kaplan here from JillianKaplan.com. And um, today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about my accident. So um, some of you may know that I was hit by a car um, in a crosswalk with my dog. Um, and obviously I didn't see it coming at all. It was broad daylight. It was about 8 a.m. And I walked that path every single day. And the driver was distracted. And... Um, I sustained um, some pretty severe injuries. I have a shattered pelvis and I have an external fixator on my pelvis that I'm going to have for like six to eight weeks. Um, I fractured my face in many, many places. I fractured um, this bone here um, and I had um, bleeding on the brain um, and I had surgery and I this cool like scar shaved area here. Um, but all things considered, um, I can't walk and I'm in rehab, but all things considered, I'm doing extremely well. Um, and my body has bounced back a lot faster than a lot of other people's bodies. And, um, I didn't break my arms or my legs. Um, and I, my face is very fractured, but I actually am not going to have to have surgery on my face because all of my fractures are sort of lined up. So it's going to like heal back naturally, they think. And I have like crazy coincidences that are amazing. Like I didn't lose any of my teeth. Like that's amazing that I had like a brain bleed and didn't lose my teeth. I hit my head so hard. Um, but honestly, I think that my body is bouncing back so fast and doing so well. I'm impressing everyone at the rehab um, because I was in good shape before because I took care of my body, because I ate healthy, because I worked out every single day, um, because my muscles were strong, because my bones were strong, because I took care of myself, because I made the time for myself. And I know that a lot of people are like, oh, it's just because you're young, but you can be young and not take care of yourself. I happen to be young and someone that has taken care of myself. For the past two years, I've put myself first a lot of times. And sometimes I feel guilty about it. Like, you know, maybe I should have put other people before me, but the reality is like by putting myself first, I probably have made it so that I'm in better shape and I heal a lot faster than a lot of other people. So, um, if you're questioning putting yourself first or you're questioning getting in shape or anything like that, I highly recommend that you you do, that you put yourself first, that you get yourself in shape, that you take care of yourself because this is a total freak accident. Like obviously I had no idea what was gonna happen. Um, I just went out for my usual morning walk, but um, shit happens guys. And um, you wanna be as prepared for it as you can, right? Like you wanna make sure that you're in the best shape that you can, that you're giving your body the best chance to recover and that you're doing as much as you can to make sure you get there as fast as you can. Um, I'm not saying that I'm like an amazing case. And like I said, I'm still not even walking, but I'm moving around good. My attitude is good. Um, I feel good, as good as I can. I don't feel great, obviously, um, but I feel as good as I possibly can considering I have like metal from the outside going into my hips. So I just want to remind you to put yourself first sometimes and to, you know, go outside and walk and enjoy the weather and um, press play on that workout video or go for a run or go to the gym or swim or do yoga or something like that because you never know when, you know, that is going to come in handy. Um, and I never would have thought this was going to happen to me, but it did. And I'm very thankful that I have spent the past two years really taking care of myself. So um, I hope you found this helpful. I hope you take this bit of advice and start taking care of yourself. If you're not, or continue to take care of yourself if you are. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will talk to you later. Bye.